Hello and welcome to Lovely English Stories. Thank you for stopping by. This story is written for beginner to intermediate English learners. You can download the PDF transcript of this and other stories on our Patreon page. You can find the link in the description box below. Ready? Let's get started. Before we start reading, let's go through some of the difficult words in this story. This will help your understanding. Mass. Mass. A mass is a religious ceremony. Religious. Religious. If you are religious, then you believe in a religion and a god or gods. Tomb. Tomb. A tomb is a large stone structure or underground room where someone, especially an important person, is buried. Tradition. Tradition. A tradition is a way of behaving or a belief that has happened for a long time. Branch. Branch. A branch is a part of something larger. For example, a tree branch grows out from the main trunk and grows leaves and flowers. Celebrate. To celebrate. To celebrate is to take part in something enjoyable and to show that it is special. Donkey. Donkey. A donkey is an animal that looks like a small horse but has bigger ears. Exchange. Exchange. To exchange is when one person gives someone something and they give something back in return. Hide. To hide. To hide is to put something in a place where that thing cannot be seen or found. Disciple. Disciple. A disciple is a person who believes in the ideas of a leader, usually religious or political, and they try to live in the same way. Crucify. To crucify. To crucify is to kill someone by fastening them to a cross with nails. Rose. Rose is the past simple of to rise, which means to stand up or to become higher. Now, let's start reading. Hopefully, those explanations will help. A2, B1, English story. Easter. This coming weekend will be Easter weekend in the UK. The date of Easter changes every year. It is celebrated on the first Sunday after the full moon on or after March 21st. This year, Easter Sunday falls on Sunday, April 17th. Most people celebrate Easter by enjoying the long weekend with their friends and family. Most companies around the UK close for Good Friday and Easter Monday. Many people exchange chocolate eggs on Easter Sunday and some families make Easter egg hunts for their children. They hide Easter eggs around their house and garden for their children to find. For religious people, 
Easter is one of the most important times of the year. The week up to Easter is called Holy Week. It starts with Palm Sunday, which is the Sunday before Easter Sunday. Palm Sunday is when Jesus arrived in Jerusalem riding on a donkey. Lots of people came to see him and they put palm branches on the road. Nowadays, churches give out small crosses made from palm leaves to remember this day. You might see that some people keep these small crosses in their homes. The next important day is Maundy Thursday. This is the Thursday before Easter Sunday. On this day, Christians remember when Jesus ate the Passover meal with his disciples. This is called the Last Supper. Christians eat bread and drink red wine at Holy Communion or Mass. Good Friday is the Friday before Easter Sunday. This was the day that Jesus was crucified. On this day, Christians remember Jesus and that he died on the cross. Easter Sunday is the day of Jesus' resurrection. After Jesus was crucified, his body was taken to a tomb. Roman soldiers put a big stone over the entrance of the tomb. On the Sunday, Mary Magdalene and some of the disciples went to visit the tomb. The big stone in front of the tomb had been moved and Jesus' body was not inside. For the next 40 days, people kept seeing Jesus. It is said that he rose from the dead. That is why Christians call it the resurrection. Around Easter, aside from eating lots of chocolate Easter eggs, people also eat hot crossed buns. These are normally eaten on Good Friday to remember Jesus on the cross. Do you celebrate Easter? If so, what traditions do you have? Tell us in the comments below. We hope you enjoyed this lovely English story and the vocabulary explanations. Get productive this spring and check out our language learning productivity packs on Etsy. Use code YouTube10 for 10% off. You can find the link in the description below. Thank you for stopping by and don't forget to like, subscribe and share. See you soon!